Fred Ottman, a.k.a. Wrestling Legend, Tugboat Typhoon, the Shockmaster, and the B-A-Double-D. Big Steel Man coming at you live, and you're watching the Jammin' Music Man. Awesome. getting around to doing my Christmas Q&A video special. I know some of you guys have been asking about it. I'm sorry about the wait. You know, work and life sometimes just get in the way, but I'm finally getting around to do it. I'm going to be answering uh, some of uh, you guys' questions, and I also got some video questions submitted by some special friends of mine, and I also, get this, I got a video question sent in by a dog. That's right. Let that sink in. A dog has sent in a video question. And it's not Gladys, and it's not Cheyenne, and it's not Porkchop. It's a dog named Little Man. That's right. I think we're making world history right here. A, a dog has sent in a video question. Hey, you guys are just going to have to tune in and see it for yourself. But enough of the talk, let's start with the video questions first. And this first one is sent in by my good buddy, Brandon Burns. All right, here are the two questions I'm going to ask you for the Q&A video. I hope it gets uploaded soon. Have you ever uh, seen the Jim Cornette experience on YouTube? If you haven't, you must watch it. It's Jim Cornette and uh, talking about, uh, you know, reviewing... AEW matches and talking about stuff from his past. And the next question is about uh, the higher power, the storyline back in the Attitude Era in the late, no, not late, in mid-1999. There was, you know, a higher power, higher than The Undertaker and his, uh, you know, I can't really say it's stable right now, but uh, there was, they, they were, uh, you know, trying to, Rape, well, not rape, kidnap Stephanie McMahon and do some e evil stuff with her. The Lord of Darkness, the Lord of Darkness, Undertaker. I'm talking about. Uh, who you think should have been the higher power instead of Vince McMahon? Do you think it could have been Jake the Snake, or the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, or the F Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels? Because I heard that they wanted to use Christopher Daniels and Jake the Snake was considered was considered to be the Lord. Uh, I mean, the higher power. And I heard Ted DiBiase was considered to be the higher power, I guess. Who do you think should have been the higher power, higher power instead of Vince McMahon? Just wondering. Thank you for your video questions, Brandon. Shout out to you, buddy. To uh, answer your first question, I've listened to a couple of episodes of the Jim Cornette Experience. Uh, can't say I'm a big fan of his show. I like Jim Cornette. I think he's a legend. I love... His work that he did in Memphis with the Midnight Express, Smoky Mountain Wrestling, the WWF, the Ring of Honor. Um, but my personal favorite Jim Cornette things to watch are his uh, shoot interviews that I've watched here on YouTube. Just type in Jim Cornette shoot interviews. He always tells great stories. Uh, like I said, I recommend go checking those out. And to answer your second question, I think Jake the Snake Roberts or the Million Dollar Man I think either one of those two would have been a great choice uh, for the greater power back in 1999. And I also did hear that uh, Christopher Daniels was supposed to be the uh, greater power back then. But I thought Christopher Daniels was wrestling in Japan or he might have been on the independent scene. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, 1999, I really didn't know who Christopher Daniels was. But... For the Million Dollar Man or Jake the Snake Roberts, I think either one of those two would have been uh, great choices. So I also hear Brandon's got another video questions. Uh, so let's see what he asks in this next video. This video is for uh, 
Jamin Music Man for his uh, Q and A video. Uh, this is about the Dudleys. I just want to know who was your all-time favorite Dudley boy. Mine was Spike Dudley, and it wasn't just Bubba Ray, Devon, and Spike. There was uh, the late Big Dick Dudley, Sign Guy Dudley, Dances with Dudley, Dudley Dudley, and you know Snot Dudley, and uh, a whole bunch of Dudleys. Who was your favorite Dudley boy? And do you like ECW Dudleys or WWE Dudleys? I prefer the ECW Dudleys. Do you like uh, their tie-dye clothes or their camouflage clothes? I always prefer the tie-dye clothes, but that's just me. And did you ever watch the cartoon series Ed, Ed, and Eddie back when it aired on Cartoon Network? And uh, if you did, who was your favorite Ed? And who was your favorite Canker Sister? Just curious. All right, thank you for your question, Brandon. My favorite Dudley boy would probably have to be Bubba Ray Dudley. And which Dudley boy version do I prefer better, ECW or WWF? ECW all the way. Nobody cut a promo like the Dudley boys back in ECW, especially Bubba Ray Dudley. One of my favorite Bubba Ray Dudley, Dudley boys promos ever is the promo he cut at ECW Heatwave 1999 where he says some, you know, rude comments to a fan out in the audience and a riot almost breaks out. Go back and check that one out. Uh, and your next question is, uh, did I ever watch Ed, Ed, and Eddie? Nobody. I never really watched that show. Uh, it was n never on my radar at the time when it was on the air. Um, not really sure why. Um, you know, there, there was a couple of shows that I used to watch on uh, Cartoon Network. I used to watch uh, Johnny Bravo and Dexter's Laboratory. Um, but, you know, that was that was about it as far as me like watching stuff on Cartoon Network. But thank you for your question, Brandon. Rock on, buddy. Now, our next video question is submitted by my good friend, the host of the WSC Lounge, Brian Vaughn. So let's see what Brian has to ask. <laughs> Wow, jamming music, man. You know me. This is Brian. I am the CEO and the owner of the WSC Lounge. And I just want to say, you know, 500 shows, that's pretty incredible. I've had to work hard at that one. And, you know, my hat's off to you. I salute you. Uh, my question for you, though, Jamming Music Man, is what kind of what kind of new ideas and videos do you plan to come up with uh, in the future? Do you plan to still do the wrestling stuff, the unboxing stuff? I just want to hear your thoughts, and I want to see exactly what you think that you may be doing in the future with your new videos. Okay. Well, thanks for taking my question. And good luck with 500 more YouTube videos on the Jamming Music Man YouTube channel. All right. Thank you for your question, Brian. Shout out to you, buddy. To answer your question, what Future videos can you guys expect with my channel? Um, what I would like to do, I would like to get back into doing more, uh, you know, music stuff like original songs, song covers, album reviews. Um, you know, maybe some of you guys might remember the early years of my channel where I did a lot of album reviews and covers and original songs here on my channel. I'd like to, you know, bring that back as well as doing the wrestling videos. I enjoy doing those for you guys and I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, but also I would like to do, you know, I'd like to do some, you know, interviews here on my channel. You know, maybe try to interview some, you know, wrestlers, actors, musicians. I would like to do that. Uh, I'd like to do more out and about vlogs for you guys. So, I hope that answers your questions, buddy. But now, the one that you've been waiting for, I have a video question submitted by Little Man the Dog. That's right, Little Man the Dog has sent in 
a video question to me. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage and let's see what little man has to ask. Hey James, um, my name is Little Man, I guess you know me. Anyway, I wanted to tell you that I'm just so happy for you because this is your 5,000th video. Oops, I mean 500. But anyway, I just wanted to ask you, how is Gladys doing? I just love her. I love her so much. How is she doing? Okay. Good luck. Oh, thank you. I mean, cool with the video, dude. See you later. Bye. Well, thank you for your video question, little man. And here she is, the beauty queen herself, Gladys. Gladys is doing all right. Her and her mother, Cheyenne, they're just getting some beauty sleep here on the couch. So I hope that answers your question. Gladys, did you know you got some fans out there in YouTube land. Did you know that Gladys? Yeah, you got fans out there. Yeah, that's right. So, thank you for your question, little man. So, let's move on towards uh, the other questions for this video. I hope you enjoyed those video questions submitted by Brandon Burns and Brian Vaughn. Links will be in the description box below to their YouTube channel, so I hope you guys will go out and subscribe to their channels. But now on to the questions that were uh, posted in the comments section of my Send Me Your Questions video. So this first one is, uh, did you vote in the 2020 presidential election? What? Uh, who did you vote for, Biden, Trump, or a third party? I remember in a past Q&A video that I asked you would you do a I voted video for the 2020 election like you did in 2016. I know you couldn't because of this damn corona uh, and you had the virus at the time, but do you think you could do one for 2024 if nothing bad happens and if you're up to it? And what was your reaction when Joe Biden became president? Yes, I did vote in the 2020 presidential election. Who did I vote for? I voted for Trump. Don't hate me. Uh, I remember in a past Q&A video, I asked you, would you do a I voted for video for 2020? I was going to, but, you know, with the craziness of work and the presidential election, I was just, you know, I was just ready for that stuff to be over with. Um, but I actually didn't get corona until a month later. I got the corona like two weeks before Christmas. But, uh, you, could I do one for 2024? Yeah, I could try to do one as, you know, as long as I'm still alive and you guys are still alive. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to do another one. Um, if nothing bad happens, if you're up to it, um, what was your reaction when Joe Biden became president? Honestly, by the end of that week, I was just ready for that stuff to be over with and I was just kind of numb by that point. Um... So that answers your question about that. Next question. Hey, James, do you also watch TikTok videos? And do you also have a TikTok account as well? In which season do you prefer, hot weather or cold weather, even though they both suck sometimes? No, I, I really don't watch TikTok videos. Um, I know it's very popular, and I, I don't have a TikTok account. You know, I've had a few people tell me that I should create one, but I've just never really... Never really tried to make an account. I've never really watched any videos on there. And which season do I prefer? I, my preferred seasons would have to be spring, uh, fall, and autumn. Those are my favorites. Um, next question. Do you remember the first time that you got your driver's license? And do you remember the first automobile you drove for the first time in your life? Oh, man. Yes, I do remember when I got my driver's license. Funny story, when I went to go get my driver's license, I went the place that I went to, they actually took you out on the road to test you that way. So I go to the, uh, the state patrol's office, and there was this girl that was in front of me. And, of course, you know, she got in her car with the driving instructor, which was, uh, you know, a state patrolman. So they got onto the road, and they stayed gone for, like, nearly an hour. 
And I just remember thinking like, man, it, does it take this long to get your driver's license? So like almost an hour later, the girl with the state patrolman in her car, they pull back in to the uh, state patrol's office and, uh, you know, she had done hit somebody uh, while she was trying to get her driver's license. She was crying. She was, you know, hugging on her mom. She was embarrassed. And, you know, the state patrolman was like, uh, he asked me, can you come back tomorrow? So I was like, in my mind, I was freaking out. I was thinking, oh, my God, I'm never going to get my driver's license. And I just remember praying to God that, that night, like, please help me get my driver's license. And, of course... I went back the next day and I got them and I've been on the road ever since. Let's see, and the next question was, uh, what was your first automobile? Well, the first automobile that I was actually <clears throat> driving to the school was a 1995 red Jeep Cherokee, but the automobile that I first drove that actually learned how to drive, my dad had like a old 1980s big Ford pickup truck that's how i learned how to drive um let's see next question do you remember the days when you went trick-or-treating and do you remember some of the costumes you wore and what was your favorite oh yes i do remember the days of going trick-or-treating um some costumes i wore i do remember one year i was like batman and one year i was a ghostbuster and those are the only two i really remember and I think like one year I wore like a scary mask or something. <clears throat> but what was my favorite? I don't know. Maybe maybe the Ghostbuster. That was fun. Next question. Who are the wrestlers that have now passed on that you never got to meet? What deceased wrestler that you wished you could have met face to face? I mean, oh man, there's so many. I would love to have met Andre the Giant, uh, Fly Brian Pillman, Owen Hart, Bruiser Brody, uh, who I would like to have met, uh, Vince McMahon Sr. So many legends, man. Just so many. Um, here's the next question. Since Daphne Unger sadly passed away this year, what was your all-time favorite Daphne moment? Mine was the match between her and Miss Hancock at Bash at the Beach 2000, even though the match wasn't really great. Um, yes, very, very sad what happened to Daphne this past year. Um, my favorite moment, uh, the one that stands out in my mind, I believe she won the cruiserweight title from Chavo Guerrero. I believe this, that was right, but I do definitely remember when she first showed up in WCW, you know, she was David Flair's girlfriend, but... Uh, I would have to say when she won the Cruiserweight title. I think I think she won that title. Um, let's see, next question, or this, this is the last question. Since Christmas is almost on the way, can you remember the best Christmas you ever had and what was your all-time favorite present as a kid? Um, the best Christmas I ever had. Oh, man. Hmm, let's see. Like, I can't really remember, like, a certain year, but I do remember, like, one of my favorite Christmas presents was getting, like, Transformers, uh, Thundercats, He-Man, wrestling toys, video games. Remember one Christmas I got a talk boy, a cowboy hat, clothes, CDs, I mean, you know, I've had some good Christmases in my day. But those are the, the questions that were posted in the comments section. Uh, thanks to everybody who sent in their questions. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Q&A video. Uh, and I want to wish you guys all a, a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, links to my Twitter and my Instagram will be in the description box below uh, and of course subscribe to my channel but guys thank you so much for watching happy holidays merry christmas and i will see you guys next time